We were all shocked to learn this morning that Gopher coach Jerry Kill had resigned. He left his 32-year coaching career because of his health. Coach Kill was diagnosed with epilepsy in 2005. He had a seizure on the sidelines of TCF Bank Stadium in 2013. He made changes to his diet. He exercised more. But he revealed this morning that he has recently been suffering from more seizures and was told by his doctors that it would be best for his family to step aside. Last night, when I walked off the practice field, I feel like a part of me died. We have live team coverage. Ashley Roberts has been gathering reaction from fans, but let's begin with Mike Max and more on why Coach Kill resigned. You know, he gave the reasons pretty succinctly today, but really this had been building over time. I think that Coach Kill, in the time that I spent with him at least, came to terms with the fact that this was a monster that could never be fed, meaning to be a, in a pressure cooker, the head football coach at a major program with epilepsy always on your mind. No matter how good things got, you always had the stress of the job, and it was been a very difficult two weeks for him. He began to contemplate after the Nebraska game, I think his life in general, and looking at what was ahead and knowing that it was just going to be a daunting task to keep this program where he wanted it to. He did not want to take a step back. He changed his medication on game days, and ultimately, with the help of doctors and other people encouraging him, it took a big toll on him and led to today's announcement. This is not the way that I wanted to go out, but... You all know about the struggles, and I did my best to change. But some of those struggles have returned, and I don't want to cheat the game. You're referring to the fact that he did suffer a couple of seizures in the last week, and when I mentioned the medication on game day, he thought if he reduced his medication, it would give him clearer thinking, keep him more upbeat, more in tune, even though the doctors cautioned him against it. And I think ultimately that was the final straw when he said, this can't be worth it, this can't be worth it at any price to coach football when my health is in jeopardy like this. Maxie, I was touched by the personal stories he told, how his wife would stay up with him late at night when he could only get one hour of sleep, how he called his mom last night and had to tell her that he was quitting. Uh, it seems almost trite to ask about the program at this point, but what is the plan for going forward at the U? Tracy Clay's the defensive coordinator will step in as the interim head coach for the remainder of the season. He stepped in when Coach Kill suffered a seizure two years ago. There's no question in my mind that as Coach Kill contemplated this decision and thought maybe it would come at the end of this season, didn't know uh, that he wanted Tracy Clay's to get a shot at this job. He is the ultimate in loyalty to his staff, and he knew that if he waited till the end of the season and then resigned or retired, that they would open a search committee. At least in this case, Tracy Clays will get a clean shot at becoming the next head coach of the Gophers on a permanent basis, and that's what it will be for the here and now. They will also form a search committee, I'm sure, and take a look at other possible candidates. Okay, Mike, we'll hear more from you on our news tonight at 5 and 6. Thank you. Our team